Hello, welcome to another Nero Studio project and today's video I'm gonna show you a little preview of this project we just created and uploaded to the site so you can go ahead and download for now it's 100% free it won't be free forever but definitely will be for a while so don't worry just go ahead and check the link down below in the description and download and make sure before download first read the description of the product you know as you see this is a 4k and can be resized to you know full hd as well this will work with the english version if you have a different language uh, premiere pro of course if you have spanish if you have any other like german you know if you would like to use this there's another way so i'm gonna make a video tomorrow how to change the um, language in Premiere Pro so you can use this product in English version of course changing the uh, Premiere Pro language from any other language to English we cannot use this right away in other language because the language expression is created in English and unfortunately can be translated uh, you know for default anyway so as I said you can read and just download as I said it's 4k make sure to read first and then also so once you read everything you can go ahead and check the projects we create with this package so you will have an idea what we can create with this package so let me play and see a little bit of this uh, project And also we have more previews in here as you see this is the demo so you can just go ahead and play will be in my youtube channel as you see we got four videos that we create with this package so you can go ahead and check as i said if you are not interested you can just skip and that's it now let me pull up you know uh premiere pro as i said this package is created in 2018 but it's fully tested with 2017 version 11.2 make sure if you have a 27 to make sure to check going up here you know premiere pro about and make sure to see what version you have if you have the 2017 uh, 11.0 you won't be able to use you must have the 11.2 and then you will be able to use 2017 of course and then 2018 and the latest adobe has which is 2019 is as i said it's fully tested and work perfect and the english version as i said so tomorrow i'll be making a youtube a tutorial how to change the premiere pro language anyway let's go ahead and let me click this and open premiere pro as i said this package contains over 100 100 you know mogger files as you see actually we got i think it's a uh, 100 110 and we will have this so when you download you will have this package called 4k dynamic color transition what we can do is just go ahead and make sure you know when you download make sure command c to copy or right click copy copy the you know the package and go into your hard drive where you have installed the apps you know in my case i have my motion graphics uh, drive and then go user and then the name and you will see this basically you won't see this hidden folder so you can just hit shift command period let me just show you again so hit shift command period and you will see this and then click library then go application support then adobe common and then motion graphics template you can go ahead and right click copy or paste i mean paste or simple command small v to paste and you will see this in this case i'm gonna delete because i already have in my uh, premiere pro so i'm gonna go ahead and delete this and then let me close this let me go ahead and close this uh, you know essential graphics panel if you don't see this you can go ahead and windows and make sure the essential graphics is checked so let me give you a quick tip how to use this actually i'm not gonna do the full project i'm gonna just go ahead and you know it will be the same with this following uh files you know or mugger files uh, or templates in this case so let me go ahead and drag 
in this case I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, keep setting because it's 4k of course definitely and the project is full HD right now and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure uh, I recommend to do right click scale to frame size or you can go select and go to control uh, effect and control and just uh, drive to 50% but in my case I'm gonna go ahead right click and scale to frame make sure and I suggest this is the better way or uh, the best option and then once we have this in a third layer what we can do is duplicate this so holding down option alt and pc we can duplicate into the first layer and then we can go ahead and drag and drop the image or video and in my case i'm going to use this image i already animate this image a little bit just to zoom in out to minute as you know my all my videos i use image uh, just animating a little bit with keyframes but you can check all my videos basically i'm using that method now once we have this, I'm gonna go ahead and select the first layer and the essential graphics panel, we got two options. We got the mask and we got the edges. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck mask. And I'm gonna select the top one and I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck the edge if we play. So basically we have this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make sure the image selected as always. And you know me, you know I use uh, this most of the time. I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop the track mat key. You can just uh, search in the, you know, and the effect control panel. And once we have this, make sure to select it, go to effect control and make sure to have a new third layer and we will have this basically. So let me just go ahead and see what's not playing my premiere. So let me go ahead and play. And this is what we have. So let me go ahead and put right there. In case you like to change the edges to another color, so you can just go ahead down, I mean, check uh, make sure select the first layer and just click and change any color you like so let me see maybe and then also you can just play with the opacity and have the same project or same effect that we have in here as you see as you see so i play i mean i uh, add a white color and the opacity a little a little down and that's the way we create that option, I mean that project. So you can go ahead and start creating with all of this the same, doing the same, uh, you know, steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete and I'm gonna just delete those layers or templates. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull and I'm gonna show you this first. I'm gonna pull this over here and I'm gonna keep the existing settings and I'm gonna pull this. So you might think that's a duplicate, it's not duplicated. So I'm gonna go ahead and as you see this is a mask it says uh, rose transition mask and it says rose transition up and it's a little different so i'm gonna go i mean the same animation same shape but different uh um, you know for different options so this called mask so what we're gonna do is right click scale to frame size and also i'm gonna go ahead and drag another image so i'm gonna just drag and drop this image and make sure out of the same thing you know track mat so then just go ahead and add a track mat and I'm gonna go ahead and select this. So what I'm gonna do in here is basically, let me go ahead first, I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop into the second layer, basically must be the image, as you see, second layer. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a select the, you know, the transition uh, template in this case. And I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck the first and the second, and just leave the, th uh, the third color. And we will, uh, we will use as a mask, as you see. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure as I said, drag and drop the track mat key effect and make sure go effect control and put in the third video or third layer in this case and we will have this. And then what we can do is, you know, holding an option, drag and drop into the first layer and go back to the essential graphics and just click again the color, you know, uh, the one and two and you will have this effect so you can go ahead select and change any color you like i mean in this case like i had at the beginning the, the project i show you it's white color and play also with the opacity you know the same way so we will uh, we will have the the effect you know like this that the same we have somewhere And here, as you see, that's the way I create that effect. And so let me just go ahead and show you the other option called opener. And this case is a simple transition. So let me go ahead and I already add a marker in this, but in, you, in your case, you won't 
uh, you want to have with the marker so you can go ahead and see where the animation uh, ends animation and ends so let me go ahead right there so I'm gonna go ahead and see where the animation uh, ends you know animation and ends right there so that's what I added the marker so you can just hit the M on the keyboard that's the shortcut and I'm gonna go ahead and pull this image maybe one image so I'm gonna go ahead and basically leave there and I'm gonna go ahead and drag this one so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this and put down here actually you know what let me go ahead and then we can pull this basically with the marker S so we can as you see this is the image if we go and play so the image comes in goes out and appears the other image in case you think this is to slow the transition so there's a quick option this uh, in Premiere Pro so go right click speed and duration and we can boost up the you know the speed to 200 maybe if you want so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right there and click OK and make sure the marker is right on the um, between the image and we can play and you will have this basically so I think it's too fast so you can go ahead and play you know so you don't have to do anything else just play with the transition but I really recommend to do the, uh, the way I do because it uh, seems like I'm not liking this option because the duration is kind of like mm, I don't know so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, command Z to un undo right there so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we are in a real time so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure C where the animation ends right there maybe so we can go ahead and and cut right there so we can cut holding down C that's the shortcut so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure see where the animation out starts basically right there so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select and cut this and I'm gonna go ahead and select this piece I'm gonna delete and put this back there and I'm gonna go ahead and select both of them and make sure just right click and group that's the only thing you have to do so you don't have to do uh, change the speed and duration and we're gonna go ahead and see and goes out like fast but real uh, time animation effect you see and that's the way you know just to customize the uh, speed duration on the template okay so this is a quick preview of this package on dynamic color transition for Premiere as I said so make sure to have the 2017 2018 or 2019 and definitely I'm gonna be making the tutorials how to create projects with all this basically not with it all but with most of the transitions and we're gonna be creating the project so you can uh, have an idea how we can use this make your your project easy just drag and drop and it will be done so hope you guys like it as I said I don't have much to say and make sure as I said it's nothing fancy but you can go ahead and download the link will be in the description the only thing you have to do is subscribe to my two YouTube channels like on the Facebook and share if you would like and also followers and Twitter and that's all so make sure to keep in tune for tomorrow's tutorial for the people who has a uh, different language uh, premiere of course so how to change to English just uh, a couple of steps you don't have to install and reinstall you don't have to do nothing like that just go ahead and add a couple words and it will change the uh, language as I say from uh, I don't know Spanish or German to English and you will be able to use this package and also I'm gonna go ahead and mention I've been working on another package called let me see I'm gonna show you called Puzzle Motion it's over 100 of course elements pack so you can go ahead and check will be I don't know maybe one of those uh, days will be on my website to download we'll have a, a little course and also I will be showing how to use this package so make sure to keep in tune and see you tomorrow